I want to talk about the first episode of Vice's brand new series produced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson and his ex-wife Danny, and that is Tales from the Territories. I heard about this when it first got announced that The Rock wanted to kind of co-produce this series that looked at the era of the territories of wrestling from the 1980s and before, the really the, the golden age of the business, and a much different time period than what we have now, before internet, before social media, before a lot of technological connections that came through, you had the different territories and the different parts of the world with their local televisions and some crazy stories. And if you know anything about the business or if you listen to my podcast, the K Fabulous Lucha Brothers Wrestling Show, which by the way is currently on break because Brandon Draven is doing a bunch of movie podcasts this month, horror podcasts. So we'll be back in November for sure. But uh, if you listen to my podcast, we talk a lot about the territorial era. And now we finally have a cool show to talk about it. So this show is produced by Vice, the same company that did Dark Side of the Ring. And the first episode is on right now on YouTube featuring uh, Jerry Lawler, Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, um, Jimmy Hart, and I believe Dutch Mantel. And they're talking about Memphis, one of the wackiest, most goofiest but also awesome territories ever covering the Tennessee area and a little bit of um, Indiana, not too much of it, a little bit of Kentucky. But that's the territory that birthed the King Jerry Lawler, and that's why he is the King of Memphis as he was the top guy there for a long time. So the way this show is structured is a bit different than Vice's Dark Side of the Ring, even though there are similarities. I mean, it's very similar. The only real thing is that Dark Side of the Ring focused on a lot of the darker, no pun intended, aspects of the wrestling business, or like a true crime series going into a lot of the really bizarre situations, anything from the death of Bruiser Brody being killed in Puerto Rico, to the Montreal screw job to even stuff like the steroid trial, they talked about the dark side of pro wrestling, Tales of the Territories is not really that it is a bit more lighthearted in that it talks about the olden days, and there are certainly dark things that happen there, but there's also a lot of funny things that happen, and the show is super entertaining, mostly because of the people who they got to do it. You know, this Memphis episode was awesome because they were telling stories going all the way back to when Jerry Jarrett was wrestling of not only the crazed fans that would attack them, that would jump the rail to attack them because people thought the business was real in those days. There were people back in the day... And you could make the argument they had mental illnesses. It's up to you to really determine that. Um, it's, t- it's hard to say, but Memphis tried for a long time to make everything look real. And so there were people in that area who thought wrestling was real. And to the point where they would jump the rail and attack the bad guys, the heels. They would um, commit you know, crimes on the bad guys' property. Like destroy their cars, throw bricks at them. Like... Doing all kinds of stuff. And um, it was a different era. I mean, nowadays, everybody not only knows that the businesses they work, but they know how everything is pretty much worked. Like, it's it's not a secret anymore. You know, it's like magic. These things are not a secret anymore. But uh, when it comes to this show, it just really shows you how insane some people are. You know, and basically, its format is sort of like table for three. On the Peacock slash WWE network where you have a group of guys just sitting around a table talking about the old days. Except that it's not three guys at table for three. It's like, you know, four or five guys. And there's all kinds of wacky stories. Not just about the wrestlers of the era, but just the era itself. And the thing about Memphis is that WWE never really put that much focus on doing historical pieces on Memphis, which is kind of a bummer. You know, we got some pretty good documentaries about ECW and the AWA and World Class that WWE put together many years ago that were fantastic pieces. However, not much on Memphis, and that's too bad because Memphis, as Jerry Lawler says in this episode, was sports entertainment before sports entertainment. It was the first territory that had a vehicular assault angle. It was the first territory that sometimes did a little bit of the super natural stuff, um, some over-the-top shenanigans, crazy characters. You know, they talked about Joe LaDuke, 
the dude who literally on television took an axe and started slicing his forearm to show how tough he is. Like, this is crazy stuff, you know, nutty stuff about how fans would get so caught up in the storylines that they would call in to the Memphis station and threaten to go to the studio and murder a wrestler. Literally, there's a story in here about the Iron Sheik cutting a promo right when there was the Iranian conflict, when the, sh- when the plane went down, the U.S. plane went down. And one of the people watching it, one of the fans watching it from home in Memphis, was somebody who was related to someone who died in that plane attack, a helicopter attack. I heard it was a plane or a helicopter, and they threatened to go to the building and kill the Iron Sheik and Jimmy Hart. And it went on. You know, there's stories, the great story on here about Jerry Lawler where he's in his new car, and this fan is like, he's holding a brick, right? Uh, he describes it as a nice, bright, and shiny brick. And uh, he's like, buddy, if you, and Lawler walks up to his car and he's like, buddy, if you hit my my car with that brick, I'm going to run you over and kill you. And he was serious. I mean, again, this is one of those things where you really have to understand this era. This is like the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And this is like when there was not cameras everywhere. There was no world star hip hop. People could get away with stuff. And that's what the territory show, what this show is going to really provide. And by the way, when they do this, they have like the reenactments, like what Dark Side of the Ring does, where like you see like the lights get dark and you see somebody who looks like Jerry Lawler or Jimmy Hart, but not quite because it's kind of blurry. Like they do these reenactments that I think are just beautiful, just awesome stuff. So so he gets into the car and boom, the brick goes crashing into Jerry Lawler's um, windshield. Brand new car. And so Lawler pushes down the accelerator as fast as he can, but the car doesn't move. It just kind of rumbles a little bit. He goes outside and sees that all four of his tires were already slashed. It's just stuff, and they start laughing about it. It's just, it's the kind of stuff that I love. That's one thing I love about, like, reading up on and listening to old guys talk about classic wrestling. I didn't grow up in that era. I was born in the mid-80s. So the wrestling I grew up with was late 80s, early 90s, uh, and then into the 90s, the Attitude Era and beyond. That's the wrestling that I watched, which is a lot more tame. This was the era where the fans were just completely over the top. And I, I cannot wait, for one, for them to show the episode with Puerto Rico because there's a lot of footage out there that has never been seen before in America of Puerto Rican wrestling that I saw when I was a kid. Some of it's on YouTube as well. And Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican wrestling is insane. Same thing with like, I want to see the world class stuff too. Cause obviously we've had so many documentaries on world class, but there's still a lot of stories that have never been told. And I'm curious about that. I'm curious about if they go into Georgia with Ole Anderson. Like I am excited for this series you know Dwayne the Rock Johnson hosts it or at least he hosts the beginning part of it and uh, he is the producer so it just goes to show that the Rock even though he's the biggest movie star in the world Black Adam's coming out right around the corner he is still in love with the business that broke him in which was the professional wrestling game so check out Tales from the Territories on Vice episode one is on YouTube right now it's getting a glorious thumbs up from me go watch it take care And let me know what you think about it down below. Subscribe if you're new. Talk to you soon.